There you go. Right, back with part two. So we're going to go through another example of uh, privilege escalation. Um, I, I think this video today will actually highlight that it's not always about getting root access. What if we have the opportunity to read a file or resource that we don't have access to? It's really the same thing, isn't it? You've still managed to get access to something that you should have access to, so you don't always have to go root if we can find a way to read a resource or file that we shouldn't be able to. So as per what I said in the first video, let's let's look at our methodology. Let's go through that first. Let's snoop around, see if there's anything that stands out, right? LS, LSLA, nothing stands out, right? So we, we, we're happy there. We can say no, if I can spell. Second, let's run the find command, right? Uh, perm, zero, 4,000. As I said, you can just do 4,000 itself. I've just got a habit of doing that. Don't ask me why. And again, to what I said to you earlier, the, a lot of these are just going to be standard in here, right? And it's, the more you look at it, the more you'll realize, you know, something does stand out. Now, I've seen this or been doing this for, for some time now. And so instantly something stands out to me here. And it's this, use the bin open SSL. Well, that's really interesting. All right, let's just make a note of it. So we know open SSL. And let's just run sudo dash L, see if there's anything there that stands out. And user. And it says, sorry, user, user may not run sudo and blah, blah, blah. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's go back to here open SSL right as per usual let's go visit our best mate GTF4 bins and let's just type in open SSL open SSL we've got the functions we've got reverse shell file upload file download file write file read library SUID and sudo right well we know sudo isn't going to work because we don't have the permissions for it now it does have the SUID bit set and right that's interesting okay it doesn't look like that's gonna work but you've got file read here this is interesting right now we know that or traditionally in CTFs um, if you want to access the root, and this this is not going to let you get to this stage, by the way. So if you go CD root, it'll say permission denied, right? But we know the 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 text file or the flag file will be kept in CD root. Uh, sorry, uh, we have to do cat root root dot txt, right? It'll say permission denied. So we know it exists. Let's see if we can actually ls that ls root. No, it still doesn't even let ls. But as per tradition. In any CTFs, you can always have in the back of your mind that a root flag will be kept somewhere in root and the chance that it will be called root.txt, right? So let's try this, right? So you can see here, permission denied on everything. Perfect. So what we're going to do is you can set it as a variable. If you go back to our Python example, what we're doing is setting a variable. So we can do l file equals root.root.txt if you want to, right? You don't have to. Uh, you can just go straight to the second line and just type it in directly, right? So you can do it like this. And then if you're going to do it like this, then all you do is just copy that line straight in. Alternatively, you can just do it from the second line, which is open SSL, open SSL. I should just really copy and paste, shouldn't I really? Um, ENC dash IN. And let's just type in root root dot root dot txt All right there we go and we've got the flag so it's, it's read the root txt file something that we couldn't access earlier at all so this is goes to show that it is it's always worthwhile trying different avenues right? just like we've done here and i hope this is coming very very handy for you thank you for your time and hopefully uh, we will go through some more examples in the future. Thank you very much, guys.